Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Recording in progress. Abba Yahuwah, I give you praise on this, your Shabbat, in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Abba Yahuwah, I praise you for the Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood. Abba Yahuwah, I thank you for we choose life. In Yahusha HaMashiach, we choose life. In Yahusha HaMashiach, through the Ruach HaKodesh. Abba Yahuwah, I praise you. For a Torah on my lips, I praise you for a Torah on my tongue. I pray by the Ruach HaKodesh that you would reign as I bring forth a word, a Torah, a Basura of truth that will bring life to those who have an ear to hear. I, I thank you that I'm not causing anyone to stumble, anyone to be turned out of the way, anyone to come up lame. I'm trusting in your Ruach HaKodesh. Abba Yahuwah, I give you praise for those that are in this room, in this, in this Shabbat lesson. Abba Yahuwah, I praise you. I praise you, Abba Yahuwah, for the Mishpaka. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Now Yahuwah, I thank you for giving us the keys to the kingdom. And whatever we bind on earth is bound in the heavens, in the Shamaim. And whatever we loose on earth is loosed in the Shamaim. You told us we'll tread upon serpents and scorpions. And nothing that Hasatan does shall prevail against us. We bind demons and devils. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we bind familiar Ruachs. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we bind familiar Ruachs. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we bind Ruachs of perversion. We bind Ruachs of divination, of witchcraft. Abba Yahuwah, we bind any and every Ruach of distraction. That which Hasatan is sending to pull our attention away from Torah. We take authority over you now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. We declare that no weapon turned against us prospers. I command you by the authority that is given me to take your hands off of the people of Yahuwah. I command you to take your hands off of those of you who has chosen. Abba, your word may go forth freely and will not turn into you void. Abba, that your word would accomplish everything that it has been sent forth and it is being sent forth to accomplish. Abba, I speak a word of healing in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. For Yahushua was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, I speak a Torah of healing. And Abba, Yahushua, I declare the victory. Yahoo! 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 In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, this is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our Amu now in the Torah and the Basura of truth. Abba you, I give you praise. I magnify your name. I thank you for the victory. I thank you for peace. I thank you for not giving us the ruach of fear, but the power of love and of a sound mind. Abba you, I give you praise. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, Lua, my strength and my redeemer. Hallelujah. All praise to Yahuwah Alua for the witness, the Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood, right? This oh, yeah. Yahuwah, Yahuwah um, gave me something this morning, right? And uh, it's a statement. Right? He said, tell my people that They need to either live once or die twice. Right? It's a choice. To live once or to die twice. All right? Now, we who have been born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh, we've chosen life. Right? We've chosen to live. 
We've chosen life. The definition for the word life, and according to Merriam-Webster, is the quality that distinguishes a vital and a functional being from a dead body. We choose life, right? A principle or force that is considered to undergo or to under consider to underlie the distinctive quality of inanimate in in beings, right? That's which gives something that does not have the ability to move, breathe, think. Life gives it that, right? Now, to understand life, right? We have to start at the beginning, right, in Genesis. So let's go to Genesis, the third chapter, right? Now we know that Yahuwah breathed in the man and he became a living soul. He possessed life, right? He possessed the Alua kind of life. He possessed the life that comes as a result of the breath of Yahuwah. Now this life was just more than just the the um, the causation of one being able to go from uh, inanimate to aminate or inanimate non-moving existing to something moving and existing. This life that Adam had was a ruachal life. A life that brought them the likeness and the power that comes with the life of you, right? They became Elohim in the arrest. Right? They were like Yahuwah Lua. Right? Except they did not know good and evil. There was no need for an understanding of good and evil in their existence. Right? After having received the Yahuwah life that was necessary for them to live forever. Right? But because of this, this, this diabolical craftiness of Hasatan and because of Adam's failure to retain what Yahuwah had given him in command and comply, he brought death, right? And passed on to everybody, right? He says here, Genesis, the third chapter, the 17, let me see. Uh, matter of fact, let's start at 17 verse. He says, and Adam, and he said unto Adam, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. He said, Curse the ground for thy sake. And sorrow shall thou eat all the days of thy life. Now, the life that Yahuwah was speaking of was the life that caused Adam to, to, to exist and live. Right? This life was the absence of having what he once had before transgression came. Because once, once violation of Torah came. Right? This breath now that he had, this life now, right, was going to come at a tremendous cost. Right? He was going to have to work hard to experience life. 
But the life that he is experiencing now is up under the cold cloak of death. Because though he's alive, yet he's dead. Though he's alive, yet he's dead. And because of Adam, death passed. Right? Now again, you have to understand that this death is more than just this natural cessation of life. This death is a transition from a ruako life of supernatural existence to a life of death and darkness because of a decision that has been passed on. Right? So he says, thorns also and thistles shall I bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. Right? In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread Thou till thou return unto the ground to the time in which you die to the time that you trans you 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 leave the existence of life that you know and pass right for out of it was thou taken and the dust thou art, thou shalt return. Now this judgment, right, came as a result of the trans, the, the trans, the violation, the transgression of the Torah, right, that changed the state that they operated in life and brought in the element of death. And death passed on. Now, not just physical death, but spiritual death. The absence of the presence of Yahuwah Alua by his Ruach HaKodesh in earthen vessels. All right? He says, and Adam called his wife Eve, named Eve, because she was the mother of the living. Right? So the mother of the living gave birth to seeds that brought death. Right? He says, and unto Adam and to his wife did Yahuwah make cloaks or coats of skin and clothe them. Right? So, you know, we have we have here, no doubt, the first sacrifice for sin. And because Yahuwah took the coat, right, of an animal and gave it to Adam and Avah to cover themselves. Right? And Yahuwah said, behold, the man is become as one of us. No, 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 no. It was not that they did not exist as one of Yahuwah prior to this, right? But what it is, is that, right? The knowledge of good and evil brought the transition from being the righteous to the unrighteous. The violation of the Torah that introduced good and evil led to the death of Adam and Ava, right? It says, in knowing good and evil, lest they put their hands forth and take of the tree of life, right? This tree of life, and eat and live forever. Right? See, now death was a judgment. Right? Death was the judgment. Death had to be satisfied. Death was a judgment because of the disobedience. In the day that you eat of this tree, you will surely die. The day that you touch of this tree, you shall die. You will know good and evil. 
you will you you will know that which led which leads to death. Right? You will now have to return and live and leave this life and return to the dust, right? And await a judgment. A final judgment, right? So he says, Lest I put thy forth thy hand and take of the tree of life and eat and live forever. Right? There's something about this. This tree of life, right? There was this, this tree of life that was in the garden that would cause the sustainability of the physical house that they possessed that was of the dust, right? Something in this, 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 this vegetation that would cause them to live eternal. There's this, there's this something in this, 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 this tree of life that points continuously to the way. It brings the 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 continual revelation of everything. Right? But see they couldn't have that. You who had to keep them from that. And he says, and you Alua sent forth them out of the Garden of Eden to till the ground from whence they were taken. So he drove out the man out of the place of the east and placed him in the east of the garden and a flaming sword, a cherubim with a flaming sword, which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. To prevent them from continuing in this fallen lifeless absence of the Ruach of Yahuwah life forever. Right? Go to Deuteronomy 30th chapter. You gotta understand, right, that you need to choose life and live. In this choice of life, which, which chapter? Their life. Deuteronomy 30th chapter. 30, uh, Deuteronomy 30, 30, and we'll look at the first verse. Right? Uh, Deuteronomy 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. And it shall come to pass when all these things come upon thee, the blessings and the cursings. Now, you know, this is a, this is a prophetic word. This is a word that Yahuwah has given to Moshe to give to the people after they came up under the curses. Right? This is not before. This is after. This is this this is prophetic for us. This points to the life that comes to us. Right? He says here, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the cursings which I have said before thee, that thou shalt call to mind among the nations. Right? Whether you who have scattered us, we are coming to the knowledge, recalling what he has said in Torah. And because we are recalling and understanding it, some of us are being quickened. Some of us are being born again of the water in the Ruach HaKodesh. Some of us are understanding the importance of the atonement of Yahushua Mashiach. Some of us are choosing life. We choose life. We choose to enter into this renewed covenant that trans transitions us from this death state 
to a life state. Now he says here, he says here, and thou shalt call them to mind among the nations where the Yahuwah have scattered, have driven thee, and shall call unto Yahuwah thy Lord, and shall obey his voice. See, you mean you obey his voice? Well, his voice is, excuse me, his voice is Yahushua Hamashiach. His voice is the Torah made flesh. His voice is in Yahushua, by which there is no other name given unto men whereby they must receive life. Right. Now, 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 the nation is coming to an understanding of being a people of Yahuwah, but it's not enough to have life. See, you have to choose life in Hamashiach Yahushua, right? In order not to die twice. Because, you know, in your current state, before you received this witness, you existed in death. Right? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, Um, let me see, is it, um, uh, let me see, Hebrews, um, let me get something up real quick. Death ring. That's in Hebrews or Romans. Romans five. Um, from Adam to Moshe, death ring. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Where? Romans. Romans six or five. We gotta look. <laughs> uh, I think it's. Uh, Uh, I was just looking at it. I just had it. Uh, I was just looking at it. It's uh, right, it's right here. Um, five and seventeen? Four, Romans five and four, fourteen. Fourteen. Right, okay, yeah. Now, death reigned. Right? Death. Now, again, we know that this death is more than just physical death. Because we understand the description says that we all have an appointment with death, right? In Hebrews 9 and 27, it says, let's just start 24. We're going to come back to that one. He says, For Hamashiach is entered into the holy place, Hebrews 9 24. May, for Hamashiach is not entered into the holy place made with hands. He's talking about the same physical tabernacle that, that Shlomo made, that they had constructed um, with the tents and the tabernacles that traveled, right? Right? With, with hands, which is a figure or which is a type or which is an example itself figure of the true. It is an example of the true, but Yahushua entered into the heavens itself, now to appear before the presence of Yahuwah. For ye that, for, nor ye, nor yet that 
he should offer himself often as a high priest entered into the holy place every year with the blood of others, right? right. Yahushua's a sacrifice was greater than that which was a type of what we, our ancestors participated in because death reigned. <coughs> because death reigned, right? He says, for then must, yeah, for, with the blood of, oh, for then must he often have suffered since the foundations of the world, right? Usually. But now once in the end of the world, right, of which we are entered in, right, have he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself, right? So the fact that we've received of Yahuwah the sacrifice, for it is appointed unto man, it is a for as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this the judgment, right? So Hamashiach was once offered to bear the sins of many and unto them which looked for him shall he appear and the second time without sin, the second time without sin unto salvation. So he appeared the first time without sin and he's going to appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Right? But death passed. Right? Now, you who should have to understand that in Yahushua Hamashiach, he took the keys, the dominion of death over those that he has chosen. He's stricken hell, the keys. That dominion over you, that, that, that you uh, took, took, the keys of death and hell, that dominion that Hasatan had, and brought it back under the authority of Yahuwah over those that Yahuwah has chosen. Right? Right? For, for, for us to die, to pass from life, it's not final. Death reigned from Adam to Hava. Right? Death did. It reigned, it had dominion over those who were under sin. And that's everybody. Death reigns for those who don't accept Yahushua Hamashiach a second time. The first death came as a result of a transgression that Adam had committed. The second death will come as a result of the rejection of Hamashiach Yahushua that brings an eternal judgment, an eternal separation, an eternal separation from Yahuwah, a death Second, two, second death, right? He says here, let's go back to, um, let's go back to Deuteronomy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to Romans, but let's go back to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, the, 20th, the 30th chapter, right? And it shall come to pass when these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the cursings, which I have set up before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind amongst the nations, whether Yahuwah have driven thee, and shall return unto Yahuwah thy Lua and obey his voice. Right? Right? Yahushua says, the sheep, his sheep, hear his voice. His sheep hears his Torah, which is Abba's Torah. His sheep 
accepts his Torah. His sheep accept him. His sheep accept his atonement. His atonement. His sheep died, but they passed to life. Or his sheep were dead, but they passed to life because they've received the witness. They received the word. They've heard his voice. They ain't gonna follow anybody. They have this innate understanding of this life that is now a part of who they are. Right, let's go. Let's go. He says, hear my voice. According to all that I command thee this day, that thou and thy children with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that you who are thy Lord will turn your captivity. See, 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 Yahuwah is turning the captivity or has turned the captivity of those who have received the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. They're no longer under the dominion of darknesses. They are now uh, no longer under the keys of death and hell. They no longer are going to die twice. They live in iniquity. They're shaping in iniquity. But because they've received the witness of the Ruach HaKodesh, they have now entered and received a life. They don't die twice. He says that then Yahuwah, thy Lord, will turn your captivity and have compassion on thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Yahuwah, thy Lord, have scattered thee. And if any be driven into the uttermost parts of the Shamaim, from thence he will gather thee. Right? He will gather thee. Let's jump down to verse 30 and 14. Or 15. Matter of fact, let's go to the 14. But the word is nigh thee. This Torah. This Torah of truth is nigh thee. It's in thy mouth. It's in thy heart that thou mayest do with this. This happens as a result of our hearts being changed, being born again of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh. Our, our, his word, this Torah is near us. He says, listen, listen. He says, See, I have set before thee this day life and good, death and evil. Life and good, death and evil. Right. See, I have set before thee this day life and good, death and evil. In that I command thee this day to love Yahuwah thy Alua. I love you, who are thy Lua? Love you, who are thy Lua? You have to have a heart change. You have to have the Ruach HaKodesh to love you, who and to love you, who's people. In that I command thee this day to love Yahuwah thy Lua and walk in his way. 
Thou shalt love you with all thy heart, with all thy mind, and with all thy soul. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And this hang all the laws and the prophets. The love of you. The fulfillment of Torah. Loving Yahuwah, having a heart of Yahuwah, having received the life of Yahuwah. He said to walk in his way and keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments that thou mayest live and multiply and Yahuwah thy Alua shall bless thee in the land which thou goest to possess. Do what his word says. Whose demonstration is going to be evident in you. It's going to be manifested in you. But this choice, having received you as Ruach HaKodesh, this commitment to life is every day. You have within you what is necessary to choose life. You have everything in you to be that demonstration of life, right? Right? But if he but but if thine heart turn away, so that will not hear, but thou shalt draw away and worship other elves and serve them. I denounce unto you this day that ye shall surely die. See, you know, you, you who wasn't just talking about the absence of life. Yahuwah was talking about a second death, an eternal separation, a death that, that you are under, that you will experience a judgment because you do not choose life. Because you choose not to give heed and choose life, right? He says here, listen. I denounce unto you this day that you shall only perish and ye shall not prolong your days upon the land. You're going to die. Because the wages of sin is death. Sin pays wages. The wages of sin is death. The, the, the natural outcome that came upon a dime and a vial was death. It was a judgment. Yahuwah ensured that no one would live past a certain time in years. Judgment. Death. Right? Whether thou possess over Jordan to go and to possess it. And I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. I have set life, a Torah, that is nigh thee. It's in your mouth, it's in your heart. It's the word of Yahuwah which we preach. Choose ye this day. Are you going to choose life? Or are you going to choose to die twice? Yeah, it's appointed on the man wants to die, but there is a judgment of death eternal separation from Yahuwah that comes to those whom Yahuwah denounces. See, that's why, you know, we don't fear death. Right? Right? 
we don't we don't we don't look at the absence of life as the end. Depending on the time in which Yahushua comes, some of us may witness the transition from death to life physically that is appearing. Some of us will not experience it until we leave here physically and pass from death to life eternal. You who should die once. He understood the necessity of having to die in order to give us a chance. Those that chooses to experience life. Right? He says. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. The Shamaim and the Eretz. Against you, Yasharal, Yahuda. Bless. He says that I said before you life and death, blessings and cursings, therefore choose life. Therefore choose life. Choose life. You know, and, and, and when you make the choice of choosing life, you allow the 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 ruach of you who would make the difference in you. You don't fear death because you were made perfect in you was love. You understand that it's a transition into a permanency that you have been granted because you've received this witness. Right? Let's go to Hebrews 9 and 24. Hebrews 9 and 24. Right? Actually, we just read it. Did we read that whole thing? We read it, Hebrews 9 24. Go to um, Romans, the fifth chapter. Romans, the fifth chapter. Right? Talking about choosing life. Choose to live once or die twice. Choose to live once and forever or die twice. Right? Verse 1, therefore being justified by Amuna, we have peace. We have shalom. With Yahuwah through Adonai Yahushua Mashiach. Through what Yahushua Mashiach has done, he's made peace between those that Yahuwah has chosen and himself. Made peace. Because see, this peace, this rest. This shalom is only to those that have received life. Those who have the word nigh them in their mouth and in their hearts, which was made possible through Hamashiach Yahushua. He says, 
by whom also we have access by Amuna into this grace, right? This position of life. Right? This, this transference from darkness and death to light and life. Right? We have access. This, is, this grace is the trans translation or the transferring from a kingdom of darkness and death to a kingdom of light and life in Hamashiach Yush. It says here, it says here, it says here. By whom we also have access, you got to believe this. You have to believe this. You have to have Amu this. Listen, you know, at the end of the day, there are going to be many people who aren't going to have a life because they just can't wrap their head around it. They just can't grasp the idea of this son of you, this redeemer, this kinsman redeemer of the nation of Yashiro and of the other nation. And they're not going to be able to wrap their head around it. They're not going to be able to seize the opportunity. Right? He says, by whom grace we grace, where we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of the Lord. We rejoice in the hope right, of the manifestation of the visible witnessing of the presence, the glory, the light, the light that is in you and in you. See, because that's our life. That's our life. See, listen, if all we have is what we see in this world. Shaul says, we are the most men miserable. If all we have is to hope for is this death, this diabolical darkness that Hasatan is governing, we're miserable. But thanks be to you, through Yahushua HaMashiach, we have life, right? We were dead once, but now we live. I think it was Peter that said, I've been crucified with Hamashiach. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Hamashiach Yahushua lives in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh I live by the Amuna of the Son of Yahuwah that so loved me and gave himself for me. I choose life. I'm not dying twice. I'm not dying twice. There's nothing that Hasatan that can give me, present to me, that cause me to surrender life, to pull me back into his kingdom. I choose life. There is nothing that I am going to allow to cause me to stumble, to pull me into darkness, take me out of his hand. See, because can't nobody really take you out of his hand, right? You can allow yourself to come out of his hands. Can't nobody make you not serve you, but you can turn your back on you. You can choose to walk away from life. I don't know why I want anybody to get right now to do it though. I mean, um, 
can't stand that. She can't fathom them. Why somebody would turn their back on Yahuwah that has given them life through Mashiach Yahushua. He says, and not only, not only so, right, that we glory in Alua, we glory in tribulation. Tribulation is an ally. Tribulation ain't an enemy. Tribulation comes to make you better. Comes to put you in a place of being better equipped. It works. Knowing that tribulation works. It works patience. And patience experience. See, the more patience that you have in a situation, the more experience you garner because in that time you have learned what it is that you need to do to overcome. That's why it brings experience, right? Patience. And experience hope. Because do you understand by virtue of having gained experience that this stuff can be done? It can be done. Be done. Be done. There's things that you know you trust in the most high for and you're in the midst of a tribulation. It can be done. Because you understand that experience worketh hope. You understand that this tribulation is a necessary ally. You understand that what you are going through is designed to make you better. See, and hope don't make you ashamed, right? Because the love of, because, because the love of a lure is shed abroad in our house by what? The Ruach HaKodesh. Listen, if you ain't got the Ruach HaKodesh, you don't have the love of you. I ain't say it, he said it. Right. The circumcised heart as a result of the Ruach HaKodesh in you. And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of Yahuwah, Alua, is shed abroad in our hearts by the Ruach HaKodesh which is given unto us. life. That's the life. The life is in this witness. The life is in Yahushua Mashiach. The life is in the Ruach HaKodesh. The circumcised heart has come as a result of the Ruach HaKodesh. You are able to, to, to speak a word. But the word is very nigh thee. It's in your mouth. Actually, he says, neither is it beyond the seat. Matter of fact, let's go on. Deuteronomy 30 and 11. This commandment I command thee this day, it is not hidden from thee. This Torah is not hidden from thee. Neither is it far off. <clears throat> Torah ain't far off from you. This prophetic word is fulfilled in you. He says, It's not in the Shamaim that thou shalt say, Who shall go up for us unto heaven and bring it unto us that we may hear it and do it? not out of reach. Right? Neither is it beyond the sea that I should have said, who shall go over the sea for us and bring it on to us that we may hear it and do it? 
No. No. This Torah is in your mouth. This living word, this life, is on your lips. You got to believe that salvation is real. You got to believe that Yahuwah sent Yahushua Mashiach. You got to believe that you have his rule on your desk. You got to believe and see and understand what that looks like and walk in it. And I'm not. He says, and hope make is not a shame because the love of Yahuwah is shed abroad in our hearts by the Ruach HaKodesh, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, when we were yet dead in our trespasses and sins, when we were living in darkness, when we were the walking dead, Yusha, I think Yusha said to the Pharisees, you are open sepulchers. You're dead with the door rolled back. And the stench of the body is coming out. <laughs> we were dead in sin. For yet when we were yet without strength in due time, Hamashiach Yahushua died for the dead. Yahushua died for the ungodly. The ungodly were dead. Ephesians 2. And you have it he made alive. Two and one. Who were dead in sin. Where in times past, ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power, the prince of the power, Hasatan, of the air, the atmosphere, the Ruach, that worketh and the children of disobedience. Our children of disobedience are in darkness. The children are of disobedience are considered dead. They don't have life. They can't share life. So truth be told, the only people that are qualified to dis distribute words of life are those that have the word of you and I them because their heart has changed. Because of the Ruach HaKodesh being now shed abroad in their hearts, they have the capacity to speak life. They have the Torah in their mouth. They have the Torah in their hearts. Where in times past he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the children are now working within the children of disobedience, among whom also we all, we all. See, that, that was death passing from Adam to Moshe. And from Moshe unto Yahushua. That physical is appointed unto all men. But that spiritual lifelessness was radically changed. 
in the hearts of those who have been born again. See, they, they, we no longer under a curse. We are no longer the servants of sin. We don't serve sin. We don't serve our flesh. Our flesh is brought under the subjection of the Ruach HaKodesh. Our mind is transformed and renewed. We bombard our minds and our hearts with the word of Yahuwah to the point it becomes written in our hearts. And what's in our hearts is what comes out of our mouth. The word of Amunah which we preach. He says, we're by nature, nature, it's what we were, right? By nature, children of wrath, even as the other, but Alua, who is rich in mercy for his great love, where he loved us, even when we were dead. We were walking dead. The only life. The only light. At the time of Yahushua Hamashiach. Was Yahushua and those that he had chosen. Yusha was the life. You said I am the way, the truth, and the life. He's the way. Even as, even when we were dead, he quickened us together with Amashiach. He gave us life in a Mashiach. And he has raised us up together to sit in heavenly places in a Mashiach. Live once or die twice. Live once or die twice. Right? Let's go back to Romans. And Romans 5 and 5. And hope maketh not a shame because the love of Alua is shed abroad in our hearts by the Ruach HaKodesh, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Mamashiach died <coughs> for the ungodly. Which is Mamashiach became the sacrifice for the ungodly. Yashua and Yehuda first, and to the other nations, of which of whom he has chosen from among, to give life. That's what you said. I don't pray for the world. You also love the world that he provided the world an opportunity to receive Yeshua. It was in Yahushua that love was the demonstration. It was in Yahushua his willingness to sacrifice his only begotten was the ultimate demonstration of his love. Because you knew that there was a remnant that were going to be saved or that were going to escape 
that was going to receive this grace, who was going to accept the fact that Yahushua Hamashiach's atonement was enough for their sins, and they're going to repent, and then they're going to receive Yahushua Hamashiach's atonement, and have Yahushua's Ruach HaKodesh entering into life. He says, you should die for the ungodly. Then he says, for scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet pre-adventure for a good man, someone even dare to die. People who would forego their existence so that somebody else would live. Scarcely. Scarcely. Right? But Allah commanded his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, while we were yet dead in our sins, while we were yet without life, while we were yet on course to die twice, he allowed his son, Yahushua Hamashiach, to die for us, right? Much more than being now justified, right? We, 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 we've been made just, we have been justified. We have been rendered as as the just. We have been given a seal because we've received an atonement, a blood atonement for our sins. And because we have, right? Because we have, we've been justified. Much more being now justified by his blood. We shall be saved from the wrath through him. Live once and die twice. Live once and suffer judgment on the arrests and or an eternal judgment after you expire in the arrest. Choose life, right? Choose to live, right? Moreover, when we were enemies, we were reconciled. Enemies. We were enemies. We were Torah violators. We were the children of Hasatan. The children of Yahuwah and the children of Hasatan are distinct. The children of Yahuwah do the will of Yahuwah. The children of Hasatan do what Hasatan's wills. The children of Yahuwah have been born again of the water of Ruach Agodesh. Everybody else is the children of Hasatan. Children of the devil. Live once and die twice. Serve you who with gladness. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Know that tribulation works. Yahuwah's love has been shed abroad in your heart through the Ruach HaKodesh. He says, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved 
from wrath through him. We'll be saved from the judgment of you. See, because you know, we have a seal. We have a seal. Ephesians 1 and 13. In whom also ye trusted, after that ye heard the word, the word is not you, it's in thy mouth and it's in thy heart, the word of Amuna which we preach, the word of truth, Right? The word was made flesh and it dwelt among us and we beheld his glory, even as it were the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. The good news, the gospel, or the good news, the basora of your Yeshua. And whom after that you had amuna, you believed it. Believed it in the necessity of the water, the blood, and the roar of You believed in the importance of having this witness. Right? After that, you trusted, right? You believed in your salvation, that word, that basura, that good news, and whom after that you believed, you were sealed. With the Ruach Hako Desert Promise. Let's see. With the Ruach Hako Desert. Right? Which is the earnest of your inheritance unto the redemption of the person's possession, unto the praise of his glory. Wherefore, after I heard of your Amunah and Yahushua, and Adonai Yahushua, and your love, because you know that counts as a result of the Ruach Hako Desert. Loving nobody not to rule out how to do that. You don't know how to. You don't know how to. You know, some of y'all got so much trauma. Y'all intimately acquainted with your trauma. All you do is continue to visit your trauma. Right. How Mashiach has made you free. Y'all coddle in trouble. Coddle those things that make you feel a certain way. Stop it! Who's has made you free? You're loved by the saints. He said, listen, listen. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your Amunah and Yahuwah, and I don't know you, your love for all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. That's what I do all the time. I mention everybody in this book, in my prayers. I mention people and that I know that I respond a lot to that I've known on Facebook or other places, right? Make mention of them in my prayers. Right? He says that the allure of Adonai Yahusha, the Abba of glory, may give you the Ruach HaKodesh of wisdom and revelation. In the knowledge of him. Listen, 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 listen. You don't need to suffer in your trauma. Be anxious for nothing. Speak a Torah. In all things, with prayer and with supplication and thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto you, and the peace of you, and the past of all understanding will keep your heart and mind through you, Shemashiach. You ain't got to let stuff dictate to you. Speak a Torah. Speak a Torah. Shemashiach has made you free. Why you ain't free? You know, we, 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 
We are a people of trauma. Throughout the ages, oh, our, yeah. our ancestors have experienced trauma. Throughout the ages, not just in the 1900s. Right, but listen, you under a different domain. You serve a different Yuhulu. You serve a king, eternal, immortal, invisible. You serve the only wise Yehuwalua. Stop it. Stop feeding into your trauma. Stop feeding in what your what your past experiences were. Let that stop it. Choose life. Choose life. Choose life. Stop. He says, which is the earnest of the uh, promise uh, all saints, praise. Right? Then he says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. Stop holding on to your trauma so much start holding on to that Torah. Speaking of that Torah. When you would sense and experience and you feel things that are coming up, that's surfacing, that has something to do with what you experienced in the past, speak to that thing and tell it, no, I refuse to allow you to affect me. In the name of you, Shemashiach, I'm going to be made free. I'm not giving into those emotions. I'm making them subject. I'm not giving into those thoughts. I'm bringing them under the subjection of the Ruach. Live. Don't die twice. <clears throat> live and what is the seeing greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his mighty power right listen the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches the riches the riches of the glory of the inheritance in us is the code of sheen. and what the exceeding greatness of his power see 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 see, see that's because you are his. You have life. You have life. So you, you don't have to die twice. There's no reason for you to die twice. Mashiach has made you free. Right? You, you have to walk in this freedom. You have to let I said, Todd, no. And demons and devils know that you're not going to be held captive by trauma. All I can think of is what you did to me. Stop it! All I can think of what he did to me. Stop it! Who the, who, who the sun sets free is free indeed. The love of Hamut, Yehusha, Mashiach, and the Ruach HaKodesh is in your heart? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You know, there's no reason why you can't deal with people. Stop it. Stop it. Choose life. Let that be your demonstration. Right now, what is the seeming greatness of his power to us where who believe? You got power. You are right to see. You have power. According to the working of his mighty power when he wrought, when he raised the Mashiach from the dead. You ain't the walking dead no more. You alive with the Mashiach. <coughs> You're alive with Hamashiach. Hang on to stuff. Let it go. Stop it. I just, I just can't understand what he, how he did that to me. Stop it.
walk in the liberty that Yushamashiach has made you free from. Allow the demonstration of the Ruach HaKodesh, the love of Yahuwah that is in your heart to guard you. The Torah to guard you. Stop feeding in that trouble. Let's go back to Romans, the uh, fifth chapter. We almost done. Verse nine, more, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath to come. We choose to live now. We choose life now. Right? Now again, we're talking about something that's greater than the absence of this physical life. We're talking about that which makes you who you are. This house, this house has to die. Make no mistake about it, it's aging as we speak. From moment to moment, second to second, minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. This temple is taking its toll. Yahuwah has already pronounced the judgment that there is a death that is required. Right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. See, we in this witness. I care about my body. I care about whether or not I'm, I, 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 I'm alive tomorrow. For me to live is a mashiach. Right? For me to live is for the purpose of preaching this witness. The declaring this Torah. Being in a position to, 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 to lay hands on people, to baptize people, to cast out devils, to do the work. That's a mashiach. For me to die is that life that I'm in, that I have, that I look to experience. It's the presence of Yahoo and Yahush. He says, for him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to a lure by death of his son, you shall march and how much more reconciled shall we be saved by his life? Right? We saved. And not only so, but we also joy in Yahuwah Lua through our Adonai Yahusha by whom we have received Atonement. Right? Now, 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 you know, Paul is talking to a bunch of Roman, Roman converts. Right? Some of them probably Yahudim, right? And I like what the Maki said when he talked about the, the letters like cliff notes. Right? Because, you know, you could tell in the cliff notes here that he has already had a discussion about atonement. He's already expressed, he's already taught the Roman Romans what atonement is. Right? He's already taught what it means to have the blood of Yahushua Mashiach to be a propitiation for their sins. He says here, wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, Adam, right? And death by sin. Sin, death. Sin, death. The angel of flaming sword preventing access to the way with the flaming sword because that way brings life. Wherefore, as by one man sin, Adam's, sin entered into the world, and death by sin, death by sin, when he died, he had to prevail. He had to prevail because sin gave the keys of death and hell to Hasatan. 
Yahushua had to take those keys back. That has no power over us. You know he ain't talking about physical death because it's appointed on the man who wants to die. Then the judgment. But, 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 but this life in the Mashiach Yahushua. Yahushua has taken the keys of death and hell. So that now that judgment of the second death, that separation from you and Lua, that utter darkness, that lake of fire, that place of torment. He says, so death passed on all men for that all have sinned. Right? He says, for until the Torah, sin was in the world. Sin was in the world before Torah. Sin has always been in the world before there was a written Torah. Sin had always been in the world, right? But he says so this. But sin is not imputed <coughs> where there is no law. See, it, there's no no, no, no um, um, measuring scale, right? There's no measurement. I can't say that something weighs 10 pounds without having established what 10 pounds is. Right? The Torah showed us what our sins were. Right? He says, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Right? Without a Torah, then what you do is what you do. Right? Because there's no government. That's like, like driving a car. Right, right. Uh, certain cars, you know. You may want to do 100, but you ain't going to be able to do 100. In the military, we had governors, governors on our, our vehicles. They would only go a certain speed limit. We couldn't go past it. No matter how hard you hit the gas, it was only going to go to a certain speed, right? Nevertheless, death reigned. Nevertheless, death reigned. Nevertheless, death reigned. Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moshe, right? Even over them that had not sinned after the same likeness as Adam. People that didn't sin like Adam had nothing to do with sin reigning over them. Sin reigned because of Adam's transgression. Because Adam failed to fulfill Torah. Adam failed in his position of leadership. Adam did not enforce the Torah that he knew that he was to keep, but he allowed the woman to convince him that it was okay to violate Torah. He says here, but not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one, many are dead. Choose life, live once. Don't die twice. For if through the offense of one, many be dead, much more the grace of Alua and the gift of grace, which by one man, Yehusha Hamashiach, have it abounded unto many. Right? And not as it was by one that sin is, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation. Adam's cause death to be passed on to us. Physical and spiritual. 
physical because of a judgment. A part of the man wants to die in a judgment. Appointment. You have to return to the dust. Originally, they didn't have to return to the dust. Originally, they could have ate of the tree of life forever. But because of sin, and because he chose to disobey Torah, he set everything in motion for everyone on the face of the earth. But listen, 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 listen. This is the good news. <laughs> now you got to be born again. <laughs> you got to receive the witness of you through Abu Yahushua Mashiach. He says, for not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one, Adam, to condemnation. But the free gift is unto many, to many offenses, unto justification. Yahushua has brought justification, right? He says, for if by one man's offense, Adam, death reigned by one much more they which have received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign in life right now now this life the greek word greek word for that word life is zoe Strong's G, 2222, Zoe. 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 It is life, a state of one who is possessing vitality, right? It says, of the absolute fullness of life, both essential, ethical, which belongs to you. It's the Alua kind of life. The life that makes us elves. For if by one man's offense death reigned by one much more, they which receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life. Eternal. A life that exists forever. It's important that the man wants to die. And then the judgment. Romans 6 and 23. Romans 16, 8. Let's go 16, 18. And being made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your members servants of uncleanness and to iniquity or to iniquity, even so now yield your servants, yield your members and servants of righteousness and holiness. Listen, you once lived a certain way. Now yield yourself to righteousness, right? For we, for when we were the servants of sin, we were free from righteousness. We had a death sentence. We had a death sentence. We had you who was judgment on us. We had you who was judgment on us. Uh, we had you who was judgment on us. You who uh, is judging us. Where's that? 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 
We had to use judgment on this. I was looking for something where I can't find it now. It's okay though. Um, for when we were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? Right? For the end of those things are death. The end of those things are death. But now being made free from sin and have become servants of Alua, you have, ye have your fruit unto Kodeshness and the end <coughs> everlasting life. A life that exists forever because of Hamashiach Yahushua. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Alua is eternal life through Hamashiach Yahushua. We can choose life. And we who are born again of the water and the Ruach HaKodesh, our demonstration is a choice of life. We have the Ruach HaKodesh shed abroad in our hearts. We have a responsibility to choose life. Make that our demonstration. to let the word of Yahuwah dwell in our hearts richly. That's it. All I got. Actually, I got more, but I'm not going to go. It was an hour and 37 minutes. <laughs> Hallelujah. I can keep going, but I'm not. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Anybody got any questions, anything they want to say? Yeah. She was going in and out, but uh, Shabbat Shalom to the Mr. Carr. All right, Shabbat Shalom, my. Shabbat Shalom, my yeah. baby. Yeah, I mean, hey, how uh, you, you said a lot. <laughs> Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.